All right, guys. All right, this is something that's only able to be seen in Messenger. This shit needs to be seen all over Facebook. Blow that picture up. I'm sorry, to do what? I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't understand. What did he do? Oh, talking about Joe Scarborough? You're asking me about the appropriateness of the actions of this president of the United States? Like, a child who comes in with mud on their pants or something. He comes in with doggy do on his shoes. What is there's a word somebody used to me? Uh, they said you would understand it better if you knew what a confabulator is. Confabulator? This is what we have running our country. Enjoy. Pass it on before they delete it. Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthification Chronicles, and I have a clip here of Nancy Pelosi that you just got to see. I'm making sure that it's put in one of these videos in case C-SPAN decides to scrub it or something, which they might. <laughs> this is a very interesting little clip. Nancy Pelosi, once again, the gift that keeps giving to us Republicans, has given us the Democrat playbook right here. She tells us what are their tactics, what they do, how they like to smear everyone. So, pay attention, here it goes. Self-fulfilling problem. You demonize, and then you, it, we call it the wrap-up smear. If you want to talk politics, you call it the wrap-up smear. You smear somebody with falsehoods and all the rest, and then you merchandise it. And then you write it, and they'll say, see, it's reported in the press that this, 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 and this. So they have that validation that the press reported the smear, and then it's called the wrap-up smear. Now I'm going to merchandise the press's report on the smear that we made. And it's, it's a tactic, and it's, it's, it's self evident so did you catch that? What she says is you start out with something that's a lie and you throw it out there and then the press picks up on it and they write stories about it and you say, see, it's written in the press, so it must be true. <laughs> this is exactly what they did with Trump. They demonized him. It was all fake about the Russia collusion. This is what they did with Kavanaugh. It was all fake about these women coming and saying that he did these things. The last one was even ludicrous, that Swetnick one. This is the situation we're dealing with. This is how these people work. They worked with the press to make it seem like what they were saying was legitimate. They tell the lies. The press reports the lies as if they were truth. Truthification. They are trying to make fiction into truth. And that's what they do. So, I wanted you to see this. Please share this so people can see. Pelosi is telling us exactly their tactic. This is like a page right out of the Democratic playbook. This is what they do. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Hey, guys, I have an election update. And you're going to want to share the hell out of this one. You know those Dominion voting systems that had that glitch in Michigan and switched 6,000 Trump votes to Biden? Well, they have completed data analysis on them, and they have found that 2.7 million Trump votes were deleted nationwide. That's 2.7 million Trump votes deleted nationwide. 221,000 Pennsylvania Trump votes were switched to Biden. That's 221,000 Trump votes switched over to Biden. 941,000 Pennsylvania Trump votes were deleted out of the system. And 435,000 votes nationwide were switched from Trump to Biden. So, folks, have faith. Just give it some time. We all knew this was going to be a Trump landslide. It didn't add up. So let's just be patient and see how it goes and share this one. It's being deleted off of Facebook. It's affecting YouTube. Yeah, hello. Is this the front desk? Yeah, I've got a really sticky situation here. You know, I'm up in the penthouse and uh, I work for President Joe Biden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Well, sort of. Anyway, um, right now he's so extremely upset. I mean, you know, he, he just found out about the border, what a, you know, with crisis, kind of like an invasion going in down there or going on down there. And, you know, um, he's being told to say, you know, that we've got to raise taxes. And <laughs> I don't think he really knows kind of where he's at about that. And, uh, and you know, I think he's really upset because, you know, he really knows that the Democrats cheated, you know, Trump out of the election. But anyway, <laughs> he is so upset. He's threatening to throw himself out the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very serious. Yeah, so if you could get a hold of maintenance for me, because we can't get the window open. Oh, 
Yes. As I am a weary gypsy tracker, I will do any kind of work you want me to do if you will just let me sleep in your barn. If you won't sleep in a barn, you are a weary, weary traveler. You may spend the night in my home. I will give you dinner and put you... Then I will work. You don't have to work. Gives him a nice dinner. He goes to sleep. Gets up in the morning, a nice breakfast. What work can I do? You don't have to work. The Lord means for us to extend friendship to weary travelers. He says, in that case, being gypsy and having the ability to converse with animals, I will talk to your animals. You don't have to talk to... Look at this guy. He's going to talk to the animals. You don't have to do that. Just go on your way. I want to. All right. He's gone about 20 minutes. He comes back. I spoke to your horses. Now, you've changed the bit. Recently, you've changed... You had a nice oval bit in your mouth. You've got a triangular bit, and it's pulling on their jaws, and they can't pull as much weight. You think that... You're right, he says. Yeah, he's right. Sheep. 